Hello. Given the spring and holiday recess, the month of April feels very short to most of us. With schools closed from Thursday, April 2nd to Sunday, April 12th, there are only 15 actual school days. But in true Oceanside style, they are all filled with many important and often festive activities. Let me begin by reminding the community that the Board of Education adopted its proposed 2015-16 budget at its March meeting. All details regarding the budget can be found on our district website. Please note that the total expenditure budget is being increased by 1.52%. This is the lowest increase within the past 14 plus years. This expenditure increase results in a tax levy increase of 1.56%. That amount will keep our district within the tax levy limit. Much hard work and deliberation went into the preparation of this budget, and I want to point out that it allows all programs and activities to continue in very much the same format of this current year. The ability to do this with such a minimal increase was the direct result of a retirement incentive that the district endorsed. Central office staff will be visiting PTA meetings and local community organizations to talk about the budget in the upcoming month. And most important, we need your support on Tuesday, May 19th to exercise your right to vote. I grow concerned that many people might feel that their one vote won't make a difference, but this is anything but the truth. We need every vote of confidence and support, regardless of the fact that we stayed in the tax levy limit and the expenditure is minimal. Other special events throughout the short month include the high school mother-daughter dinner on Wednesday, April 15th, the AP Art Showcase on Thursday the 16th, and Jazz Night on Monday, April 20th. Our Kindergarten Center will celebrate Earth Day on Wednesday, April 22nd, and our spring concert season officially kicks off with a high school concert on Thursday, April 30th. The month of April is also when we will be administering the New York State English Language Arts and Mathematics exams. The ELA exam will be administered April 14th through the 16th, and the mathematics exam April 22nd through the 24th. I am very aware that controversy continues to surround these assessments, but as the superintendent of schools, I can assure you that I am extremely confident in the ways we have implemented the learning standards for all children pre-K through 12th grade. This state-regulated assessment system meets federal guidelines for testing and attempts to determine students' progress towards meeting the standards. Our students will be fully prepared for this, and we do advocate for their participation in this process. At the same time, we honor a parent's right to choose without penalty to any children. I look forward to the spring in so many ways, Tulips are my favorite flower as they always remind me of brilliant beginnings. I wish you a brilliant spring season as we navigate through the highlights of the last few months of school. I close with a special tribute to our Best Buddies organization. In the recent past, our Best Buddies Club has been highlighted in honor of its 10th anniversary and its recognition as the most outstanding club across New York State. We held a Best Buddy prom at Oceanside High School where over 400 students came together in the spirit of warmth and friendship. We also were highlighted on a Fios program called Heroes on Long Island. A very special shout out to all the students involved and their hardworking and dedicated advisors. Enjoy this special video clip that explains yet another of our Best Buddies ventures. Thank you. Spread the Word to End the Word is a campaign where we help raise awareness of the R Word. 
the artwork is dehumanizing towards people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It's making them feel lower than society by people saying, oh, that kid's so retarded, like he's dumb. Like that's not nice, like it really hurts them. And it hurts the kids in our school, it hurts their families, it hurts their friends, it hurts our whole community. Spread the Word to End the Word is a national campaign that prevents and teaches people not to use the R word in a wrong sense of term. The word we're trying to get rid of is the word retarded because it's now used as slang and in derogatory form to describe someone as stupid when the real meaning is a slow learning piece. The correct term is intellectual and developmental disabilities. Spread the word to end the word.